for my friends always want me to make these for them. So for my friends that are watching, I'm sorry guys that I didn't invite you over. But it's so good. I'm not even hungry and it's good. So imagine if you're hungry and you eat it. Woo! I don't even want to think about that because then it's like better than sex. So Hi, I'm Ryan Milano. Ah! Hi guys, I'm Mariah Milano. This is dinnerwithmariah.com. Welcome to my kitchen. Tonight I'm making my famous cheeseburgers because I've had a lot of requests from posting a lot of pictures on Twitter like these. So tonight I'm going to make them and show you how. People say I get fancy and because I, I go to butcher shops and everything and not everybody can go to the butcher shop or wants to. Everything for tonight is from the grocery store that everybody can buy. And for my ground beef, I got this grass-fed ground beef. And this is 85% beef and 15% fat. Okay, so it's good. I have a quarter pound of ground sausage and a half a pound of ground pork. So the first thing I'm going to do is mix my ground beef. So once you have your different meats in the bowl, we're going to add some different flavors to it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna add is a splash of our oyster sauce. I know I don't say it right, but I don't care. Sorry. And next we're gonna add a couple dashes of cayenne pepper. Now we're gonna add some black pepper. And I love my pepper. Now we're gonna add some sea salt. A tiny bit, guys. You don't wanna use too much, just a very little bit. And I have one egg that's beaten already, and we're going to add that right in there. And that's going to bind everything together. So now you're going to get your hands in there and mix it up. And you want to get an even blend of the different meats. So you want to make sure you do it really evenly. All right, so I have it all in the bowl. I mix it nice and evenly, and now we're going to turn it into patties. Okay, so this is one patty. Remember, I like it nice and thick. And they're going to thin out once you start cooking it, so, yeah. All right, so we have our meat for our first patty, and now we're going to put our palm on it and squash it. And repeat. Look how nice these are, see? Nice and thick. The real thick one here is for my cameraman because he's the fatty. So I wanted to make his extra big. So I mixed some sea salt, cayenne pepper, and black pepper together. And I'm going to sprinkle it on the peppers. Be generous because it's going to break down in the meat. And it's going to be awesome. So don't be scared. Don't be scared. More for fatty. Okay, so now we're going to let those rest for 30 minutes. So that means it's cocktail time, dirty martini style. Mm. Very good. So while th these are resting, because you want them about room temperature, so while those are resting, we're going to make our topping for our hamburgers. So we're going to use one tablespoon of Hellman's Real Mayonnaise, not Miracle Whip. Real mayonnaise, okay? Actually, let's make a little bit extra and we'll do two tablespoons of real mayonnaise, okay? Then we're going to add some ketchup, an equal amount to the mayonnaise, okay? Now we're going to use, you already know what this is, I don't need to say it, do I? Worcestershire sauce. Just a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to stir that up. It's going to be really good, guys. Very easy to make a really good hamburger. So basically, we just made 
Mmm. Thousand Island with a little kick to it. Very good. In the background, if you see smoke, that's my cast iron skillet that we're going to sear our burgers in. Ready? Okay. All right, so we're going to do the middle one first and put it in our cast iron skillet. Mmm, listen to that sizzle. So that just needs to be on each side for one minute, and then it's going to go in the convection oven. You need a nice sear on your meat. Okay, so the reason we sear them is that when we put them on our baking rack, they don't fall apart. See? Alright, so look how nice and seared these are. Now we're going to pop them in the convection oven on 570 degrees so they're nice and medium. For about 12 minutes. Now we're going to put our onions in the nice drippings of the hamburger and bacon grease. It smells so good. So those are just going to be in there for a couple minutes just to soften them up. Alright guys, now our burgers are done. I put some cheese on them. We're going to pull these babies out. It's hot as hell. I wanted to say another word, but I didn't because I'm so sweet. All right, so my burgers came out beautiful and perfect. They smell amazing. I have my Thousand Island with a kick that I made. Everything. So you guys ready? Let's make this first burger. All right, so sauce goes first, guys. So let's do this. All right, so we're spreading on our sauce. Nice. Mm. All right, so now let's see which baby do we want to put on that big ass bun. Thought fatties. Should we put fatties on there? Alright. Yeah. Fatties is not so fatty when you look at it once it's cooked. See, I told you guys. Looks are very deceiving. Okay, so we're gonna put big man on here. Woo! Shit is hot. Okay, look how pretty. I wanna put some grilled onions. And now we're gonna add a pickle. Because bitches love pickles. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna add the pickle. And the pickles that I buy are Hardy Clausen garlic pickles, and they're bomb. So we're gonna put the bun on top. We're gonna squish it down. You hear the juice? There you go. That's a real cheeseburger if I've ever seen one, is it not? Because you know you guys are drooling over there. So now we're going to put some Lay's potato chips on the plate because I'm not about to make fresh chips, fresh potatoes for his fat ass. Sorry. Now, I'm not being mean, guys, or hateful. I'm just keeping it real. I'm not. I'm just not in the mood. Okay. So that's, an, well, maybe a little more because you never know. How does that look, guys? That's bomb, right? So my cameraman is going to be really happy tonight. Putting up with me, you should be. Check this out, guys. Isn't that nice? It smells so good. I'm gonna put mine on the bun and take a bite to tell you how good it is, just for you. All right, so now we're gonna make mine. So sauce first, guys. My Thousand Island with the kick. And this is for me, so I'm gonna do it how I wanna do it. I want the small one. The smallest, still thick. Okay. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of my salt, cayenne, and pepper. Some grilled onions. I don't like a lot, so I'm just do a little bit. Guys, don't make fun of me. Okay. But, uh, I'm getting picky now. I'm getting weird. No, I don't like the way that looks. Okay. So like that. And then I'm gonna break this tomato because I don't want the whole thing. Okay. And a little pickle. So I'm gonna tear it because I don't want the whole thing either. Like that. Okay. Alright, guys, you ready for me to take my bite? Okay. Let's do this. Mmm. 
So good. Really good. Mmm. Mm. It's so funny because my friends always want me to make these for them. So for my friends that are watching, I'm sorry guys that I didn't invite you over. But it's so good. I'm not even hungry. It's good. So imagine if you're hungry and you eat it. Whoop! I don't even want to think about that because then it's like better than sex. So, so good. Really good guys. So I suggest... You guys get to it and make this for yourself or a loved one. Have a great night. I'm Mariah Milano. This is dinnerwithmariah.com.